It is the Flow Friday Night Sports Show, and Netball is back in the Mallee again as of Saturday. And joining me on the line to help us go through the fixtures for round one of action, Nicole McMahon is back for another year. G'day, mate. How are you? I'm great, Jason. How are you? Very well, thank you. Round one coming up. Exciting times. Everyone starts even. And uh, look, except the reigning premiers, of course, Lamaru, who uh, are the reigning premiers. Let's talk about your girls to start with. Uh, as we heard um, a couple of weeks ago now, um, you won't be out there. Exciting times, adding to the eagle's nest. Uh, but I don't think you're the only one. Yeah, so Lamaru... Just two remaining players from our reigning premiership team, which I will be claiming reigning premiers until yes. August, September. <laughs> um, so just Katrina Bell um, and Alana Bowley. I mean, both very strong players. They were in last year's association team of the year. So, um, you know, it's great that they're, they're still stuck around. <laughs> um, but probably the biggest loss, Cassie Walter, um, who was the association best of Ferris, um, also uh, adding to the Hawkness. Um, so she will definitely be missed to the Lamaru side, but um, they've picked up some great new recruits, um, including a couple from outside the district. Emily Tonkin from Strathalbyn, who's a partner of one of the footballers that's come over to play for the Hawks. Um, and also Shauna Chaplin um, from Menengi, um has been a great pick-up one to watch in the centre court. So um, not not all is down in the dumps to Lamaru, while um, yeah, a few of us are sidelined. Our sideline is certainly some... Um, Exciting new players in their lineup. Excellent. So you'll be taking on Karunda this week in round one at home. Uh, what do you know about the Magpie girls? Well, as much as I very much rate Shailen Pate um, as a coach and player on the netball court, she hasn't given me any information. <laughs> <laughs> so you're flying Maybe blind. A, yeah, I'm flying a bit blind, but from what I've heard, um, pretty similar lineup um, to last year. So I'm going to stay faithful to my Lamaru girls and pick them by three goals. I think it will be a really highly contended match um, and low scoring, but I will go with Lamaru. Uh, let's move to Peak Oval where uh, my Peak crew, they are welcoming Murrayville to town, who I'm sure are relieved that the COVID sanctions have re- reduced and they can get back to uh, just doing their thing. But uh, what do you know about both of these sides and who's going to win? Yeah, so um, Murrayville... Oh, you know, they had such a hard year last year with all the um, border restrictions and all that. Um, and I think they might have a few out this year with, uh, sorry, this week with isolation and so forth. Uh, but, you know, that's something that's across, across all clubs and across, across all associations. So mm. just is what it is, unfortunately. Um, so Peak and Marvel, these two sides, they finished up fifth and sixth last year. So we actually got the, um, I think the top two teams, or well, he finished top two, Borders and in the minor rounds mm. are playing Lammer and Karinda who are third and fourth and Peter Marvel who are fifth and sixth. So a really exciting lineup. Um but yeah, Marvel as always quite a young side. Um few new faces which is really exciting. Looks like they've done some um great recruiting once again. Um Kirsty Heinze is going to head up uh Marvel Girls as coach. Good on her for giving that a go. She's um Jack of all trades, umpire, plays, um and she'd be, I'd say she's, she's 21, so just a couple of years younger than me. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, good on her for giving that a go. Um, Peak, you know, they have got quite a bit of depth in their side. Bianca Carl is back, I think, full strength. She had an injury last year. She's their tall, um, double my height goalie. <laughs> um, fortunately, she's away this weekend. Um, so the Marvel defenders will be quite happy about that. Uh, Peak also took out the pre-season cup a few weeks ago um, at Lamaru, which is pretty exciting for them. Um, big gaps to fill, though, at Peak. Athlete McArdle has retired. She's just such a great leader um, and dominating player. But they have picked up Robin Lehman, who played for Karuna a few years back, um, and probably a similar type player to Athlete with that, that really strong presence, really strong all-rounder. So she's a yeah, great pick-up. So a tricky one um, pick between those two sides. I'll um, keep you happy and I'll pick peak, I think. I don't know, Marvel will be really, you know, after their season last year, They, are, yeah, I think they finished last in the end. The only wins they got or points on the board was due a few COVID forwards, I think. So um, I'll pick peak, but, yeah, that should be a really good matchup. All right. 
And then, as you mentioned, uh, they finished one and two in the minor round, these two sides. Neither of them won the flag. So they both got a bit to prove. BDT taking on Pinaroo. This will be at Tintanara and should be a very interesting clash. Yeah, it should be. These two teams are always strong. Like, I think if you look back in the last 10 years, there would have barely been a year where they didn't make the top two. Um, but as I said earlier, uh, it's not the pregnancy that's holding me back from playing. It's Pinnery's lineup. It is looking pretty good. <laughs> um, they've got Zara Keo coming back to play, um, coaching as well. She's a fantastic coach player. I don't know how she does it, but hats off to her. Um, so she's a very good centre court goalie, sucker, wherever, and she'll um, she'll make her opposition really work for it. Um, and they've got Abby Keo as well. Um, so Zara's sister in law. Uh, playing, she's also playing league in Adelaide, so she will be juggling that commitment. I know she's not playing this weekend, but um, yeah, sister in law Zara has kindly um, encouraged Abby to come back, much to um, probably everyone else's disgust. But no, <laughs> Abby really bring, brings that like you know extra caliber of um, competition, I think, to the to the association. So really excited she's back, um, and they've. Fair-willing, fair-willing Taylor Dabnett. She keeps heading to Loxton. She's probably one of the strongest goalies that we've had in the association over the past few years. So she will be missed. Um, I've got young Emily Peel out with a broken leg um, and Kelly Maynard also out due to uh, pregnancy. Um, but, yeah, a few new exciting players, as I've said. Um, Steph Heineke back as well after having a baby last year. She's also... Um, taking on president, so just jack of all trades there, Steph, good on her. Um, Borders, a bit unknown. I think they're also feeling a bit unknown. They've um, got a lot of new players, so they'll probably be trialling a few things on Saturday. Um, still got Emily Richo, and I think any side with Emily in it is a great side. <laughs> um, they're being coached by Mel Schilling. Um, she's got a wealth of experience, several A-grade premierships under her belt. Um, been coaching juniors for a few years, so great to see her up in the seniors. Um, I think they've got Denny Schilling back. Exciting to see her back on the wing, on the wing ding. Um, but, yeah, looking, I think P- uh, Pinaroo will be a bit more settled. They usually do start the season quite strong, so I will pick Pinaroo um, for this first lineup. Uh, but I think it will be within 10 goals. All right, so uh, we've got a cracking round first up. Uh, it is Anzac round. Anything else to mention before we wrap it up, Nicole? Yeah, Anzac round, um, they give an award to every every A-grade um, netball and football match, I believe. They used to just choose um, one, you know, one uh, match, one venue, but, yeah, which is exciting to see. So I think the goal is... Um, well, I know for Lamaru they'll announce it at the end of the A-grade netball match, but then they'll actually award the uh, medal at the end of the A-grade footy. So mm. stick around for that. Um, it's supposed to be a nice, sunny day. And, yeah, we'll, we'll get the season cranking. It should be a cracking day uh, all round. And uh, good luck to everyone hitting the courts this week. And, Nicole, enjoy the netball. I will. Thanks, Jason. Cheers.